Hey Samantha, this is Christina with Casey Phoenix SEO. I told you I'd get you this video over with a few tips on how to set your company above your competition. Uh, I'm sorry it took me so long to get this video done. I know I asked you a while ago. I've just been completely swamped and playing catch up now. So um, everything that I go over in this video is going to be something that you can use yourself. Or if this is something that you just don't feel like you have the time for and you need some help with it, reach back out to me and I'd love to help you guys out. So we're going to talk about three things today. Content, citations, and backlinks. With content, the average website needs 1,000 to 1,500 words in order to be optimized with Google. I usually like to put this on the first page because that's where a majority of your backlinks are going to come back to is your home page. And so my first recommendation with any client I have is just to get them up to that 1,000 plus words on their home page, depending on what their competitors are doing. And so with your home page right now, you're currently sitting, you're currently sitting at about 600 words. I put it in a word counter on your home page. We also want to make sure that those 600 words include some of the key words that people are going to be searching to find your business. So for instance, the keyword that we're going to go over today is Kansas City Concrete. And Kansas City Concrete, when you look at it, has about 260 searches a month. So those are 260 potential clients that you're missing out on by not being on the first page of Google. And with the 600 words, um, you want to have, like I said, those those keywords built in. So not just Kansas City Concrete, but, you know, if somebody searched Concrete Contractor in Kansas City, something like that, um, that would be another keyword. So having those built into your content and the more words that you have, that 1,000 to 1,500, the more keywords that you can put in there where it looks natural. So your competitors, um, once you get past the Google Map Pack, any ads that people are running, you'll get the organic section down here. And this is what your ultimate goal is, is to rank in the top 10 on, organically. So KansasCityConcrete.com is the number one spot, and they're actually sitting at about the same amount of words that you have. They're sitting at right at that 600 level. Um, but if you look here, they've one their name has is a is a is Kansas City Concrete, so that's a keyword in itself. Um, but they also like right here, concrete contractor in Kansas City. This is a keyword that they've built into their content. And that's what I was kind of referring to earlier. Um, so that's that's my number one suggestion. The next thing that you can do is work on citations. And what that is, is if you go to the next visible six section in a search for Kansas City Concrete, you'll see the map pack right here. And some people will just base their services when they're looking for services off of what the Google map pack's doing, because the Google My Business does a really good job of giving the reviews right there. Um, it shows how far away they are. So a lot of people will, will do their service hunting um, off of just the Google My Business and then not even go down to this next page. So um, the what, what you'll do here is with your Google My Business, you just, that's where you've got your business name, address, and phone number listed. And you'll want to get more citations than what your competitors have. And what a citation is, is when you submit your information into directory, like Yellow Pages, Yelp, City Star, um, even Home Advisor counts as a, as a citation, Angie's List, those are all citations as well. And so I have this tool I'm going to show you called WhiteSpark. And whitespark.ca is a citation finder and it shows how many citations you're listed for and then how many your your competitor is and so um, when i had uh, scrolled down I, ac I accidentally missed heart kansas city hardscape so i ran captain concrete but if you've got more than them then you just know that you can double or triple it and then you should beat the number one spot but we're going to go over the number two spot today and so with white spark it's a tool that you can go out and get whitespark.ca costs about thirty dollars a month for the subscription and you can plug in your your business, and you can see here that you guys have 15 citations listed for. Captain Concrete was in the number two spot, and they have 51, so you can see that's a majority of why they're beating you out in the map pack. So just by going and getting yourself listed in all those directories, and I wouldn't just stop at 52 citations, because some of them are like have more power than others as far as the citations, like Facebook counts as a citation, obviously because of how much traffic Facebook gets, it's more powerful than some of the other ones. Um, but the great thing about this tool is you can actually click on your search and see where your citations are. And then you can go and click on your competitors and see where their citations are. So you could just do a side-by-side -side comparison and say, okay, like I've got these 15 that they have. Now I'm going to go find the other ones that they have. And then you could plug in several of your, you know, plug in Kansas City Hardscapes, Casey Coring and Cutting, and use the copycat method to go after those same citations and get your business information listed. The last thing that we're going to talk about are backlinks. And what a backlink is, is we call it link juice. It basically works like site A points to site B. Site A is the link juice, which gives site B more authority in Google's eyes, like a popularity contest. 
So the more sites you have pointing back to you, the more popular you are, the higher you're going to be in the Google ranking. That being said, um, it has to be relative sites, so it makes it more effective, the link juice, and it's going to give you more power. For example, you know, you have a some kind of a blog about concrete, maybe the different kinds of concrete you use, or, you know, what kind of, um, maybe like a blog post about why you should have concrete level before putting a pool on it, or something like that, whatever, whatever has to do with concrete that is going to give you a lot more power and that link juice that blog post is going to give you more authority than a blog post about pizza because you don't sling pizzas for a living uh, so another tool i'm going to show you this is one you can go out and get as well it's called arefs it's a h r e f s dot com it's a little more expensive it's about a hundred dollars a month but this really gives a good breakdown of what your website's doing and so right now you guys are sitting at 31 referring domains with 101 backlinks and if you go to this Google search, again, remember that number one spot belongs to Kansas City Concrete, so I plugged them in to show you. They have 323 referring domains with over 2,000 backlinks. So those are the numbers you need to beat, but you also, like I said, need to make sure you're not just throwing empty numbers at them with like backlinks that don't have anything to do with concrete. You want to make sure that they're relative, and that's what's going to get you to rank higher than them, because Google crawls that information, and they see if there's things that are spammy, where it's like it has nothing to do, like I said, if you had a, a pizza place linking back to you, that's going to be spam compared to an actual quality blog post about concrete. So in closing, we talked about three things today. Uh, content, I would definitely work on getting your page up to at least a thousand words and getting some more keywords built into the words in your content. Um, citations, uh, you saw that they have 51 to get into the number two spot on the Google Map Pack. So I would double, triple that because you don't want to just, you know, just barely beat your competition. You want to blow them out of the water so that you can stay ahead for a long time, right? And then the backlinks, you saw like what you have, you have 101 backlinks, you need to get over 2,000 in order to get that number one spot for Kansas City Concrete. Um, again, I hope you liked this video, and thank you for watching it. If you have any questions, you can give me a call at 816-323-4100. And like I said, th these are all tools that you can use yourself, but if this is something you feel like you don't have time for because you're, you're too busy out there working on concrete, give me a call. I'd love to help you guys out.